Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a SQL Server database and connect to it through SQL Server Management Studio. So the first thing we need to do is log in to our plus control panel and it'll automatically log you in here. So you want to go to websites and domains or you can also click databases down here. So let's go ahead and click databases. You can also find it on this screen as well under databases. But I'm going to go to here and I'm going to add a database. You want to give the database a name. You can give it any name. Um, I'm going to use the schema of my username and I'm just going to call it test. And then I'm going to select MySQL Server 2019. You can attach it to a site, but you don't need to if you don't want to. If you're just creating a SQL Server database and you're only using RootPal for SQL Server hosting, then you don't need to attach it to a site. We use NVMe SSD drives on our SQL Server, ho uh, SQL Server hosting for our databases. So it's very, 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 very fast. So we're gonna give our database a username, which in this case, I'm just gonna make it user. And I'm gonna generate a random password. And here's something that is very important. So we're gonna leave this unchecked because we don't want it to have all access to all the databases in that specific subscription. So if I check this, this username and password would have all access to every database that I create. So I'm gonna leave that unchecked because I want it just to be for this database. Also, if you use the system firewall rules, anyone will be able to connect to your database. If you click allow remote connections from, you can add your IP address of where your ASP.NET application is hosted. And if it's hosted here on uh, this server, the Plesk server, then you don't really need to do anything. But for this case, if you want to secure it, you can only re allow remote connections to your database from the app or your home computer. So you'd put your home computer IP address here, which you can get by typing in what's my IP and getting your IP address and then adding it in here so you can connect to it. But I'm just going to click use system firewall rules. Now that the database is connected or created, let's go ahead and connect to it. So you wanna add your IP address right here, but you can also enter the host name. I'm gonna enter the password and let's go ahead and enter the username, which I believe it is this username. And we're gonna click connect. And there you go. You can see there is a database here that I do not have access to because that's someone else's database. So we're just gonna go to my database, which I do have access to. And if you see this message, you just need to click okay. Click OK, and as you can see, if we refresh this right here, I've created a table in my database. And that's how you create a SQL Server database and connect to it through Plesk.